Seriously? How's it going everybody? It's the Indoor on here and in today's video we are in Parque Fernando. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. This hunt ended up being one of the most insane hunts I've had in a long time. One of the first things that I see when I loaded into the map was a piebald mule deer. Unfortunately I spooked him and in doing so he started running in through some brush that was really hard to spot through. I knew this guy wasn't a trophy by any means, but I did want to get him mounted, so I was just going to take any shot that I could because I really didn't want to chase him a thousand miles around the map. So you can see here he just barely gives me a shot and I take it. you can see I kind of scuffed the shot a little bit but I'm okay with it because he's nowhere near being a diamond however that color patteration is awesome so of course he's gonna get mounted and thrown into the rare lodge checking out one of the lakes and ended up finding a large herd of axis deer and then I spot a level 5, or at least I thought it was a level 5, I couldn't actually spot him, I could see his antlers behind a decent size 4, and we all know right now Axis Deer might be a little broken, there's too many diamonds spawning, but uh, you know what they say, life gives you lemons, shoot as many diamonds as you can. I was really hoping that this new position would allow a better view to where I could see that potential 5, but unfortunately it was actually a worse view. There's even more brush and trees in the way. Out of the corner of my eye, I spot an albino, and now I'm faced with a dilemma. Do I keep trying to get this five, or do I take the albino? To make matters just a little bit worse, I for some reason decided it would be a good idea to hunt these axis deer with a muzzle loader. I also decided that since axis deer are kind of broken and skewed to come back as diamonds, I'm going to go for the albino because you don't see those too often.
And like all updates, uh, they bring with them fixes and more bugs. And unfortunately, there's a pretty gnarly one right now in Hunter, where sometimes your tracks don't appear or blood trails. And I honestly could not tell if I hit this guy. There was no hunting pressure. I looked everywhere. And so I seated defeat and assumed he got away. I didn't give up completely though. I decided to go back to the same spot, reset time, and see if maybe I got lucky, I missed him, hit a tree, something happened, and I hoped he would come back. And to my pleasure, I must have missed. I've never been so thankful for a miss. He came back. But what happens next, I'm not too proud about. I, for some reason, got bug fever. I thought, hey, not a big deal. He'll come back. He's just barely spooked. The wind's in a good spot. Yeah, that didn't happen. And so, after a while, I reset time. And what do you know? He came back again. And I just keep making rookie mistakes. I didn't have my weapon out. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah, no. Now I'm worried. I think I might have spooked him to a different need zone. I decided to go looking for him, and in fact he was at a different need zone, so luckily I found him again so I'd go on the offensive. I spook him, that's okay. My goal is to get him in the open long enough to get another shot. Got my 243 with me this time though. Hi there, don't mind me, just picking up your dead boyfriend. In the end, with a little bit of patience and a lot of in-game credits, it uh, ended up working out. I decided to go back to his original spot to see just maybe if that level 5 had come back, and sure enough, he was there. Bang! Yeah, I stopped recording for some reason after I pulled the trigger. But I promise you I got him. Broken, not broken, tomato, potato. Either way, we got a nice new diamond to add to the lodge. Why are they just staring at us like that right now? It's like something out of Jurassic Park.